I have given him absolute authority. October 20th, 1973. In Washington, a chapter during the Watergate scandal known as the Saturday Night Massacre. President Richard Nixon orders the firing of Archibald Cox, the Watergate special prosecutor. But Attorney General Elliot Richardson refuses. Both he and Deputy Attorney General William Ruckelshaus resign. Acting Attorney General Robert Bork ultimately fires Cox, a move that fuels calls for Nixon's impeachment. 1944. During World War II, General Douglas MacArthur keeps his promise of, I shall return to the Philippines. MacArthur steps ashore as American forces liberate the islands conquered by the Japanese two and a half years earlier. 1947. The Cold War heats up on Capitol Hill. The House Un-American Activities Committee opens hearings into alleged communist influence and infiltration within America's motion picture industry. 2004. U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Ivan Chip Frederick pleads guilty to abusing Iraqi detainees at Abu Ghraib prison. He's the highest ranking of the dozen soldiers convicted in the scandal following the American-led invasion of Iraq. Frederick is paroled after serving about three years of an eight-year sentence. 1968. Former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy marries Aristotle Onassis, the Greek shipping tycoon on the island of Scorpios. And 1977. Tragedy strikes the rock band Leonard Skinner. Three of the band's members are killed when their chartered plane crashes near Macomb, Mississippi. Today in History, October 20th. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.